Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca and if you're new here, I post videos all about luxury, beauty, lifestyle. So if you're into that kind of content, then definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And in today's video, I'm gonna be comparing two pretty popular Louis Vuitton wallets and that is the Victorine wallet and the Clements wallet. So if you want to hear my thoughts on both of these pieces as well as the differences and the similarities between the two, then just keep on watching. All right, so I recently uh, uploaded my unboxing of the Louis Vuitton Clements wallet. So if you haven't seen that and you want to see the unboxing process, then I will definitely link it down below and up above. But I also have a video on the Victorine on a one year wear and tear update. I'm actually approaching two years of owning this at this point. I got this in May of 2019 in Paris and obviously this one I just picked up in 2021. So I, in my unboxing video, I mentioned that I would be doing a comparison because I feel like this would be pretty helpful if you were kind of between the two. And I'm gonna give you my reasoning for why I own both of these as well, since they do serve different purposes for me. So I have my notes here of the you know differences and similarities. I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't forget anything. First and foremost, I do wanna note that these are actually the same price. I did not realize that when until I really sat down and looked and compared the two. So they are both currently 570 US dollars. And I think that that's not really bad that they're the same price because they do have a lot of similarities in the capacity of what they can hold, which might be deceiving considering that this is a folded wallet and this one is obviously a long wallet. So first I will start and tell you the dimensions of the Clements wallet. This is straight from the Louis Vuitton website. So it is 7.9 inches long, three and a half inches in height, and 0.8 inches wide. Then the Victorine wallet is 4.72 inches in length, 3.74 in height, yeah, and 0.59 inches in width. I will also be inserting some up close shots of these pieces throughout the video, so don't worry, I will be giving you a closer look than you know what you're seeing right now. So one of the key differences is obviously that this is a zip around long wallet. It's you know, you zip it to open and close it. This one is a snap closure and it is folded, so it is more compact than this one, which the dimensions give that away as well. So the Victorine wallet does feature six traditional card slots and the Clements wallet features eight, four on each side of the wallet. Now I wanna note that they both can actually hold bills at their full length. You don't have to fold them up to fit it in either one of these. Now I will note that when you do put bills in here, obviously since it is folded, you do get creases in the money. So they kind of start to form and they'll have those bends in them even when you take them out of the wallet, but that's not really that big of a deal. Money still works even when it's folded a little bit. <laughs> but it is nice that you can actually fit, you know, a full size bill in here. And to be honest with you, the, the bill compartment is this, it's basically the whole width of the wallet and it goes all the way, all the way, you know, pretty much all the way across. So I believe you could even fit bills that are bigger than a US dollar. For instance, I know euros are a little bit like wider than a US dollar, and I definitely think you could fit euros in here as well, which makes sense because this is a French owned brand. So I would hope that they would consider their own, you know, currency when designing pieces. Then the next thing I want to mention is that both of these pieces do come in various canvases as well as full leather options. I have the Victorine and the Damier Ebene and then I have the Clements in the Monogram. Both of these do have the Rose Ballerine interior just because I really do love the way the Rose Ballerine looks against like the dark brown. I think it looks really, really beautiful. Then, let's see. I also wanted to mention that, you know, I mentioned that this has six traditional card slots, right? 
but you do have a slip here that you could fit cards and then you also have a slip here and I will say I have just like a rewards card as an example to put one in there and it fits no problem I mean you can fit multiples in there so realistically I would say that this has a very similar capacity as this does so if you let's say you have eight critical cards that you want to carry with you every day and you really just have your heart set on a compact wallet, I 100% will say that eight cards will fit in here, no problem, because you have your six slots and then you have your two slip pockets. So even if you just put one card in each little slip pocket, that would bring you right up to eight, but you can definitely hold more. Now, one of the, I guess I would say, cons of the Clements wallet so far, I have been using it for about a month now at this point in filming. I'm just shy of a month. Obviously, I've owned this one almost two years, so I've used it quite a bit longer. But even in my time of using this over the last month, I will say that the card slots are a little bit more finicky to get in and out of. Whereas this one, what I actually used to do when I, actually I would still do it if I was carrying this wallet right now, is I would put like my most used credit card right here, right? And I could literally leave the wallet closed and just grab out my card that I needed. So I didn't even have to deal with opening it. But aside from even being able to do that, since the this is like a very open top, it's not enclosed, it's just a lot easier to get your cards in and out. Whereas this one, you basically what ends up happening is when I'm trying to get cards out, especially the top two, is it gets starts to get like caught on this little zipper flap. So it's nothing that has made me like not want to use this piece, but it is something that I am conscious of, especially because I don't want to damage any part of the wallet. So, you know, if you're looking for something that just has like a quick ease of access, then this is probably going to be your best bet. This one does take a little bit more maneuvering to get your card in and out. What I've actually been doing lately is I just like I keep my cards in there and then my one main card that I use every day, you know, for groceries or whatever, I kind of just like set right in here so that way I can just grab it out loosely, which is not bad because I can, you know, I'm zipping this wallet up. I don't really have to worry about the card falling out or going anywhere else. Whereas with this one, obviously I can't really just like loosely keep a card because it's just a like folded, you know, if I left a card right in the middle, it would probably fall right out the bottom. So you do have to actually put the cards back in their slots in this one. So really, I mean, I think both pieces are great and have their different pros and cons. You know, I think for one, I want to say that this wallet, I really have no issue fitting in all of my bags. I believe I can even fit this in my Felici. It just takes up most of the bag, but I can fit it in there. So it is something nice about this wallet that you can pretty much fit it in any size bag that you have, whereas this one, obviously, you're going to be a little bit more limited. I have not tested it, but I don't even know if this would fit in my Chrysette bag. You know what? Let me, let me pull that out and we will test it. All right, I also went ahead and grabbed my Gucci Marmont bag because I feel like that is another, that's a very popular bag. So I wanna see if the, whoops. <laughs> I wanna see if the long wallet will fit. So here's the Louis Vuitton Croisset bag. Let's open her up. I know that this fits, obviously no problem. Now, I do have my strap in here because I'm not using this bag currently, but let's see. It actually does fit. Let me try to show you. Yeah, the it's pretty much the full width of the bag for sure, but it does fit in there no problem, and I can pull it out very easily as well. I mean, you do have to like kind of line it up because if you don't, like, and you're a little bit off, you're going to hit the side, but it can fit in the bag no problem. The main thing is about this is that it tapered, the bag tapers a little bit. So right up here, it's a little bit more narrow than down here. So once you get the wallet past the top part, it goes in no problem and you have plenty of room to fit other things. So that's nice because this is actually, you know, one of my smaller bags at this point. Let me go ahead and put this away and we will test the Marmont bag. All right. So here is my Gucci Marmont bag. I'm not currently using this one either. So let me, I usually keep a couple small stuffed animals in it to keep it stuffed. 
See, it's cute. Anyway, now let's see if the Clemens wallet will fit in here. It does in fact fit. So it's in there. The one thing I will say, very similar to the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25, is you just have to be careful of the opening because it will rub against the zipper if you're not being careful. But again, let me just show you does fit and you have plenty of space. So to be honest with you, that's actually really impressive. I have not tested that up to this point because I'm currently using my Speedy 25, so I haven't pulled either of these bags out, but that's awesome to know that you can use the Clements in even small bags, which besides the Felici, this is like my smallest bag at this point. So let me go ahead and put this away. So. I honestly think the matter of choosing between these two, I don't think you can really go wrong. Again, we just saw that this fits in two smaller bags, so it's not even that limiting as far as what bags you can use with it. Obviously, if you have very mini bags, this is not going to fit. Like, this is not going to fit in my Felici, I don't think. I'm not even going to pull it out to test it. But, you know, in that case, you would probably want to use just something smaller. Or, for instance, the Felici comes with inserts that you can put cards and cash in, so you wouldn't really need to use a long wallet. But, like I said, I feel like both of these wallets are great pieces and it really just depends on what style you prefer. I will say, um, for me personally, that like I was mentioning before, this is much faster. Any kind of like um, snap closure wallet is going to be faster. You know, when you're in line and you're like, people are standing behind you and they're pressuring you just by standing there, you know, you're kind of like, oh my God, I'm unzipping, I'm pulling things out, I have to put things back, I have to zip it up. It's like a little bit more time consuming, whereas this is literally just grab, open, and close, no problem. There's really no, and like I was mentioning too, you can even just pull one of your cards right out from the top. So if you're one of those people that really just doesn't like the anxiety of like standing in line and finicking with your stuff, then this would definitely be a great choice. But if you like the added security of a zipper, then this is another great choice. That is one thing I will say, you know, this one does zip fully closed. So if you were using like a Neverfull, um, you know, it is zipped. So nobody would be able to really like sneak in your bag and pull money out. Not that anybody would really be able to do that with this either, but it is an open top. It's not fully zipped. The other thing I also wanted to know is that they both do have a separate coin compartment. So that one obviously it is smaller on the Victorine, but they both do feature coin compartments. So even that's not an issue. So really there are not a lot of differences between these two pieces. The technical card slots are less on the Victorine, but again, I've explained how you can kind of get around that and you can definitely fit an equal number of cards probably. Now of course you could fit a whole lot more in this one if you were just to like leave cards in these open slots, but I'm talking like on a on a practical putting the cards away standpoint, they can hold about the same. So anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say about both of these pieces. So far, you know, I'm really liking the Clements wallet. Other than the, you know, like I said, it does take a little bit longer to get things in and out, but it's not a huge deal. You know, I, I try to let that like, I hate when, <laughs> You know, I'm in a store and I, I just, people just standing there put pressure on me. Like they may not even be doing anything. They're probably not even thinking about how long it's taking me to do something at the register, but I can just feel it in me. I'm like, oh my God, they're thinking I'm taking forever. So this one does take a little bit longer, like I said. But overall, I don't think you could go wrong with either piece. I probably sound like a broken record at this point. But anyway, that pretty much sums up this video. Definitely subscribe because I have another like wallet inspired video where I'm gonna be comparing and contrasting, um, you know, my wallets with card holders and kind of giving some tips on how you can choose the right piece if you are kind of up in the air about whether you want a wallet or a card holder. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss that in the future. And you'll have to leave me a comment. Do you own either of these wallets? Which one do you prefer? Or are you thinking about getting one? which one do you want to get? I would love to know. So anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!